What's up, everybody? It's Bear with BearIndependent.com. I have got a phrase that has been stuck in my head. Carhartt Brown and Coyote Tan. Ain't your average, everyday American. I won't bend the knee. No, sir. No, ma'am. Carhartt Brown and Coyote Tan. I know there are songwriters here. What's up, Brother JC? Hit me up. This needs to be a national radio country music sensational hit. Carhartt Brown and Coyote Tan. And I've been thinking about this because these two colors seem to me to be the colors of the Second American Revolutionary War. And I look around my wardrobe what little of it there is. Shout out to Interstate Steel. Thanks for the hoodie, brother. Um, and it's mostly Carhartt Brown and Coyote Tan. Now, I know Carhartt is not made in the United States anymore, Bear. I know you can get their stuff that is. Work with me here. You know, and a lot of my Coyote Tan stuff, the stuff that's not made by Sojourn Gear, was made in China by Condor. I get it. Work with me. Militant farmer concept. This is something I've talked about quite a bit. Man, you gotta be able to grow your own food and you gotta be able to protect your own food. I wear a lot of Carhartt when I'm doing the homestead things and working. I wear a lot of Coyote Tan when I'm doing the militant things and working and it just seems to me that those two colors really represent where I think we're headed you know when I think of Carhartt Brown I think of people who are busting their ass to put food in the pantry or make their next truck payment or God forbid their kids have some health insurance or tuck a little bit back so that they don't end up poor and old and destitute and broken. You know, I've got a Carhartt jacket. It's got more years on it than a lot of y'all who are watching this, and I'm not an old man. I started cutting timber at 15 years old. I've got Carhartt double front dungarees and Chippewa logging boots and my Carhartt jacket looks like it's been through a war, and I love it. And it just embodies to me the essence of a working man and a working woman, somebody who's out there every day getting after it. Whether their back hurts or they didn't get enough sleep last night or, man, they really like to just tell their boss to shove it, but they need this next paycheck because they're sweet little girls in college, the first one in their family who ever made it, and I'm not going to give up on her, right? That fortitude and the willingness to get some dirt underneath your fingernails and get some sweat in your on your brow, and get some holes from TIG welding in your stuff and rip holes with chainsaws and get it dirty and mucky and covered in just everything to go get after it. I think we need that as a nation. We need more of that as a nation. We need some dirt under our fingernails. And I think about Coyote Tan. Now, depending on where you live, olive drab might be the, the color of choice for you or multicam or Marpat or whatever. But it's representative to me of the willingness to draw a line in the sand and say, no more, not doing it, no more. To maintain a state of readiness should tyranny go from soft tyranny to hard tyranny. Should things spiral out of control to be the watcher on the rooftop who stands ready to protect his people. To train and train like your life depends on it because it does. To go halfway around the world 
not to protect your country or your community or your family, but to the guy to the right of you and the guy to the left of you. That's what I think about when I think about Coyote Tan. I'm telling you, the militant farmer concept, you need to be able to run a shovel and you need to be able to run a rifle. And those are just two very broad columns of skill sets that are representative of all the things. And we got to be able to do all the things as a network of believers, as a network of preppers, as people right now who are seeing the empire burn and collapse around us and who realize it ain't worth saving. There will be something new. And I want to be as strong as possible when we enter into the something new because I want to act, not be acted upon. I want to be able to be benevolent, not deal with malevolence. And I just, when I think about Carhartt Brown and Coyote Tan, right back there, yeah, because we're on the way to go do the things. When I think about Carhartt Brown and Coyote Tan, it gets me going. I think, I feel, I am convicted that we are headed in that direction. And all I can do is tell y'all a hundred different ways, a hundred different times with a hundred different YouTube posts and Patreon posts and Instagram posts and website forum posts and emails and newsletters and handwritten notes to get ready for what's coming. Shalom.